Okay, now we're getting started here and trying to get everything taken care of. So my biggest concern right now is this, I, I've cleaned it all out. I've ground it back to where I got good metal. Um, I'm gonna weld it to the edge of this and all the way around and try to patch that right in. Um, I ground down here. I was afraid that I was all rusted through, in which case I'd have to probably peel this back and put a piece in underneath, but uh, it seems relatively in good shape. And so I'm, uh, I'm, that's just rust. That, I mean, that's not rust, that's, uh, that's welding in there. Um, there's just surface rust here, and I'm gonna do my best to get that cleaned up. So now I'm gonna, I'm going to take this panel. I already, you can see I already trimmed off part of the edge. And I'm going to, um, you can see that line I've drawn at the very top. And that tells me exactly where I need to grind or uh, take the steel brush to it and get that right down to shiny metal so when I weld, I'm, I'm really got a good grip. I need to also go inside the car because that's right where the um, the wheel well is on the passenger side and I want to make sure that the carpet's not up there. I don't want to catch fire in here so uh, I'll be pulling that carpet down. You notice that, that that lays over the top of that so I'll be trimming that back and getting that snug in there and just perfect and I, I might even just pop a couple of pop rivets in there just, just to hold everything in place so I can weld it all nice and tight and, and make it look good. So. That's kind of what the journey I'm on now, and I'll try to take you guys along with me on that journey. So I'll try to set up this up. Um, the last time I was doing something like this, I sprayed my um, poor iPad with hot sparks from the grinding, and it actually shattered the, gra the glass. Now, fortunately, I had Apple Care, so that cost me $49 to repair it. But this time around, the last thing I want to do is be doing that because the Apple Care is all done now. And uh, it, that'll be probably hundreds of dollars out of my pocket. So we'll be trying to protect the iPad a lot more than I, what I was in the past. So yeah, this is where we're at and I'll, I'll try to bring you guys with the journey. Okay, well there's the line that needs to follow. And then I took a bearing off here because this is... Again, this is the one that got welded in, if you can see that. So I'm going to try to follow this weld all the way down and bring my, my piece up to there and, uh, and, and weld it across there, down there, along that edge. I'm going to take and cut this out and just clean all that rust up. And I'll put some anti-rust in behind there just to protect it all. So hopefully that will stop any additional rusting from happening. We'll give it a shot. Okay, so there's the first part. I got a cut across there. This is real solid steel right here. This is good. Uh, this is not. So I'm just gonna try to clean this up all the way along here. And uh, I'll likely be using my uh, sanding grinder and uh, Clean this up, but get, get as much of this out, so I'll be dragging this out. Okay, so I've got that all basically cleaned up. Um, I did use some of that uh, rust stop in there, and so I'm going to let that uh, sit for a little while. Um, this looks a lot worse on a video camera than it is actually in person. And there is a very slight hole there, and I think that's from grinding. Um, but uh, my weld will come right along the edge of that, so I should be just fine. Uh, the rest of this is just, I overheated the metal a little bit here and there. I will be popping that piece in as soon as I get it set down into the right size. And uh, I just, I really wanted to you notice in here, there's a couple places where there was just like some surface rust coming in. I wanted to clean that all up, so I'm going to get this all, I'm going to spray it all down with uh, weld through primer just so that I can uh, stop any rust that's happening on the inside of this now. 
and then uh, we'll be moving forward after that. Well, I've got this all cleaned out now. I uh, put the anti-rust in there and it cleaned it up really nice. Leaves a little bit of a film on there. And so now I've taken this and I don't know if you remember, this was had a piece that came out here and literally wrapped right around here. And so I just cut it down. So that that will sit in there. That will sit along there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drill a few holes through here and plug weld it. And what that is is that you weld through the hole and sort of tie this metal down to the thing below it or the, what's below it. So I don't know how many you're supposed to have. You see that? Zero penetration. <laughs> Don't want that. Well, I was uh, welding. And look at those beautiful welds. Came in just wonderful. Nice and tight. Had good penetration. And yet, it did nothing on here. And uh, that's why it fell off. So I'm going to take and hit that with a sander again just to see if I can get um, the, the current to flow all the way through to that. See, we can't tuck that in there real good. My uh, good buddy Rob and the guy I interviewed earlier uh, told me he says one of the best ways of doing this is uh, he said you, it's called tack and bash. So you tack it here and you bash it there and you try to put it in. So I guess we're going to tack and bash a little bit and see see if we can't make this work a little better this time around. Um, who knows? So I'm holding it on just a little bit longer than it was before in hopes of getting the penetration that I'm looking for there. Now here's the test. <laughs> Is this going to fall off of me? No, it's stuck.
come on. If you notice, there's a bit of a gap along here, and I want to suck that tight. So what I'm going to do now is drill, pop a couple holes, put a couple of rivets in, and that rivets will draw that tight, and I'll be able to weld that up tight there. Rivets that are longer, so they can reach him further and, and, and suck it tight. I can just nip them off later or weld the hole shut and that's not a problem. Or I could just leave them. It's really, I know lots of, lots of places actually have rivets. holding it together. I was watching a guy do body work the other day and he actually had screws putting it to sucking it together and he pulled the screws out and actually put pop rivets in, so... I really don't know where the structural integrity is. Better, I, I think it was in the screw, but... Hey. I'm not sucking it up as tight as I would like. Well, after some frustrating starts and uh, a little bit of frustrating welding, it all came together. And there it is. You can see the weld bind there a little bit. A major patch through some rust and stuff there. Some of the misstarts here, but then I finally got it figured out. And of course, I welded bead all the way up this side. And again, up in front, that's all a brand new panel where I'm going to be mounting the, the bumper to and be drilling the holes out for it. I, uh, I again, sprayed a bunch of it. Um, initially, just to stop, um, I sprayed it all with some primer. And then I put over a trim clad over it all just as, as a real good seal coat. Trim clad is actually a very good paint and it seals everything off really well. So then after that I will be doing undercoating under all of these when the fenders, so when I put the bolt the fender back on I'll come back under it and undercoat it all and undercoat all under there and, and get it all undercoated um, in here so that it'll stop any possible rust. So but anyways the rust is gone, uh, there's a new panel in place and it's looking good. Um, I don't want to say good enough for the girls I go out with because I only got one girl and she deserves the best. But uh, it's pretty good. So 
Thanks for watching, and that's another wrap on that little section. It's not going to be quite so long, but uh, yeah, looks good.